Hi everyone, it's Devara from JH Kids with a quick Sukkot message. Sukkot is referred to as Zman Simchatenu, a time of rejoicing. And when we rejoice, we want to rejoice with every essence of our being. We want to smell it, we want to taste it, we want to take a mental picture of it. We want to experience it in a beautiful and fulfilling and uplifting way. But what happens? Last night I was at a concert with my son and I'm holding him and I'm smelling everything and taking it in and it is just feeling so good and suddenly this little voice comes to visit and the little voice says hold on to this Devara because it's not gonna last something terrible is gonna happen and you're going to have this as a memory of it and that's all you're gonna have to hold on to that's not very helpful Brené Brown if you don't know who I'm talking about it's time to look her up she is a social researcher on courage vulnerability shame empathy and she says that joy is one of the most vulnerable feelings in the human emotion. We are terrified to feel it, scared, terrified that something is going to come and take that joy away from us. So much so that we don't wanna feel it in its intensity because if that beautiful feeling is gone, then what are we left with? An emptiness. And, she, and I, I'm quoting her in this because this line was so powerful, she said, in the middle of great things, we literally dress, rehearse tragedy. And she suggests that we can fix that and based on her research, research by feeling gratitude. So when that niggle comes in, when you're looking at your beautiful sleeping child, healthy and well, and that feeling is like, hold on to this because that's going to go, that's going to be gone tomorrow, to experience gratitude in its place. But I would like to suggest another way of dealing with that niggling feeling that wants to rob you of your joy. And that is to welcome it. Hello, foreboding fear. Nice of you to visit. I know that you're trying to prepare me for the worst, but that isn't helpful right now because it doesn't matter how much I prepare for something bad happening, it's not actually going to make it any easier if that bad thing happens. So instead, I'm going to experience this feeling with every one of my senses. I'm going to experience it with every ounce of me. And so we can create boundaries. We can say, hello feeling, nice to see you. Oh, there you are, here you are again. Don't worry, you're not needed right now. Right now, I'm going to experience this. I'm going to hold my son. I'm going to smell him and I'm going to feel him and I'm going to watch him and his sweaty brow. And I'm going to experience that with every essence of my being. But you're not welcome right now. And feelings can be looked at like guests. Guests come, they visit, they stay for a while, and then they leave. And if they don't leave, it's actually up to you to create that boundary and say, look, it's time to go. Um, it's been nice, you've hung around, we've had a nice time, a nice drink, but now it's time to go. Um, and there are tricks that we can use to help us set those boundaries, but that's another conversation for another time. So when we go into Sukkot this year, let's feel it with every essence of our being. And when that niggling, foreboding feeling comes that wants to zap you from that joy, say, hello, welcome, nice to see you, but now it's time to go because I'm going to feel this and you are not going to take that away from me. Enjoy, may it be a zman, simchatenu, a time of rejoicing fully with every essence of your being. See you next time. Bye.